Hello everyone, so here we are doing a fourth question, it's the last question in exercise 4.2, it's a simple equation for the class 7, math. Okay, right. So the question here is, solve the following equation and we have a few problems to solve here. There are two ways of solving it, one is by using a balancing method and one is by using transpose method. Now since in exercise 4.2, they require us to solve by using a balancing method. So I'm going to show you how to solve this equation using balancing method. In next exercise that is 4.3, we're going to use transpose method to solve the given equation. So let's start with the first one. Here we have a 10p is equal to 100. So 10p is equal to 100. Now if you can see here, 10 is with multiplication to remove the 10 from on the left hand side, we should divide 10 on both the sides. So this will be 10p upon 10 is equal to 100 upon 10. Remember whatever we're doing on the left side, you should do the same thing on the right side. So 10 and 10 will get cancelled. Now the p variable is free and then here we can cancel the zeros. So from here we get p is equal to 10. This is your first answer. Then the second one. So second one we have 10p plus 10 is equal to 100. Now we cannot remove 10 immediately now because 10 is in multiplication. In case I want to remove 10, I should divide, I cannot divide here with the 10 because it's going to make it more complicated. So instead of doing it, what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this 10 which is like a constant and, uh, and then we're going to remove the 10 which is a coefficient of p. Now this 10 is under addition, right? So to remove this 10, we have to subtract 10 on both the sides so that plus 10 minus 10 will become 0. So 10p plus 10 minus 10 is equal to 100 minus 10. So this is 10p is equal to plus minus is 0. Like we can when you add up, it becomes 0. So you can, or you can just cancel them. And 900 minus 10 is 90. Now again the same situation. So we have here 10. 10 is in multiplication. To remove this, we will divide 10 on both the sides. So I'm going to divide 10 on both the sides. So 10 and 10 will get cancelled. I'm going to cancel zeros here. Or you can cancel 10 ones and 10 nines. Uh, even that is also the correct way. So therefore, from here we can say p is equal to 9 is a answer. Then next one we have uh, c. In C problem, we have a P upon 4 is equal to 5. Now here it's only one step. 4 is in division. To remove a 4 from the left hand side, from here we have to multiply. Remember, whenever you have a multiplication, you should do division. If you have a division, do multiplication. Similarly, plus minus also. If it is an addition, you have to subtract on both the sides. If it is subtraction, then add on both the sides. So here 4 is in division, so div multiply on both the sides with 4. So p upon 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 5 multiplied by 4. So 4 and 4 will get cancelled and 5 4s are 20. So therefore p is equal to 20 is a answer. That's it. Now next one, we'll go for the next problem which is d. Now in D we have minus P upon 3 is equal to 5. This is similar to the previous question, only negative sign is given. So what I'm going to do here is, since a variable, the P cannot have a minus sign with it, I'm going to transpose, uh, sorry, I'm going to multiply minus 3 on both the side not transpose uh, sorry this is a balancing method I'm going to multiply minus 3 on both the sides so that minus minus will become positive so this will be minus p upon 3 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to 5 into minus 3 so 3 and 3 will get cancelled minus minus is plus right so it will become p positive we want the variable to be positive not negative and 5 into 3 is 15 and since there's a 1 minus sign so we'll get minus 15 as an answer now this is your d d problem and the next one e so 3p upon 4 is equal to 6 so again same thing first we we can remove 3 or 4 anything i'm going to remove 4 which is under division so we have to multiply 4 on both the sides 
So 4 and 4 will get cancelled. Here we will get 3p is equal to 24. Now again 3 is in multiplication with p. So we should divide 3 on both the sides. So 3 and 3 will get cancelled. 3 1s and 3 8s. So therefore p is equal to 8 is the answer for ne this question. The next one f. So 3s is equal to minus 9. So 3 is under multiplication. So divide 3 on both the side of equation. So 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So s is equal to 3 1s and 3 3s. So minus 3. So therefore s is equal to minus 3 is the answer. The next one g. 3s plus 12 is equal to 0. Let's see how to solve this one. So 3s plus 12 is equal to 0. Now first we want to remove the 12 from here. So it is an addition. So you should subtract 12 on both the sides. So 3s plus 12 minus 12 is equal to minus 12. So plus 12 minus 12 will become 0. So 3s is equal to minus 12. Now we have to remove 3. 3 is under multiplication. So divide 3 on both the sides. So 3s upon 3 is equal to minus 12 upon 3. So 3 and 3 will get cancelled. 3 1s are and then 3 4s are 12. So therefore from here we can say s is equal to minus 4 is the answer. Then the next problem which is h. So 3s is equal to 0. This is very simple. Now see 3 is under multiplication. So divide 3 on both the side. So 0 upon 3. So 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So s is equal to whenever you divide 0 with any number answer is always equal to 0. So 0 upon 3 you're dividing 0 with 3 it will be 0. So therefore s is equal to 0 is the answer. Then the next one 2q is equal to 6. Now remove the 2. 2 is in multiplication. So divide 2 on both the side of the equation. Now 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 2 ones are and then 2 threes are 6. So q is equal to 3 is a answer. Now the next one we have j which is 2q minus 6 is equal to 0. So 2q minus 6 is equal to 0. Now minus 6 is under subtraction. So we should add here. So add 6 on both the side of equation. So 0 plus 6. So minus 6 plus 6 will become 0. So 2q is equal to 0 plus 6 is 6. Now 2 is in multiplication. So divide 2 on both the side. So 2, two will get cancelled. 2 1s are and then 2 3s are. So therefore, Q is equal to 3 is a answer. The next one, 2Q plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, again similar question, but we have a plus 6 here. So we should subtract 6 on both the sides. So this is 0 minus 6. So plus 6 minus 6 will get become 0. So 2q is equal to 0 minus 6 is minus 6. Remember, it's not plus 6. Now remove the 2. 2 is in multiplication. So divide 2 on both the sides. So 2 will get cancelled. 2 ones are and then 2 threes are 6. So therefore, from here we can say q is equal to minus 3 as the answer. Now last one, l which is 2q plus 6 is equal to 12. Now first we should remove 6. It's similar to the previous question. So subtract 6 from both the sides. So this will become 2q is equal to 6. Now divide 2 on both the side of equation. So this will gonna give us 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 2 ones are and then 2 threes are 6. So therefore, Q is equal to 3 is the answer. 
so with this we are done with all the questions so you have seen how to solve by balancing method there's a one more method called transpose method and there are two ways of solving the equation and transpose method is in our next exercise which is 4.3 i hope you have understood in case you have a doubt or question you can leave a comment below thank you so much for watching